Welcome to Global Investment Insights, a weekly podcast brought to you by ADCB Asset Management. My name is Kishore Muktinutalapati, Equity Strategist for ADCB. With an objective to empower you with investment insights, on this program we discuss various perspectives shaping the global investment landscape. Let's get straight to this week's content. For the past year or so, SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19 disease, has not been a major concern for the financial markets, which have been reassured on the one hand, by the progress on vaccines and medicines, and on the other hand, by accommodative policies by the central banks and governments. COVID-19 has fallen relatively far down on the list of investor concerns in recent months. This sense of complacency was challenged last week. Concerns of the new variant, which was labeled a variant of concern, sparked sell-off in financial market assets that are most exposed to the pandemic and a dash to safe haven. On Friday last week, Global equities and oil prices were hit by their hardest falls in more than a year. Safe havens, including gold, US treasuries and Japanese yen, saw a strong bid. Thin trading volumes, thanks to a shortened US trading day, arguably exacerbated these moves. In terms of what unfolded on the virus front, the Technical Advisory Group on SARS-CoV-2 Virus Evolution an independent group of experts that periodically monitors and evaluates the evolution of SARS-CoV-2 was convened on 26th November to assess the SARS-CoV-2 variant B11529, which is now named Omicron. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, based on the evidence presented indicative of a detrimental change in COVID-19 epidemiology, the Technical Advisory Group has advised WHO that this variant should be designated as a variant of concern. As a result, many countries quickly introduced restrictions on travel from southern African countries. Financial markets quickly reacted to the news regarding the potential ability of this variant to evade COVID-19 vaccines and spread more quickly than the Delta variant. As financial market participants, It's important to have humility and acknowledge that we do not have all necessary information about the virus variant to assess the damage it could cause to financial markets. Whilst there are reasons to worry, we should also keep in mind that Omicron's epidemiological and clinical correlation is not fully established yet. However, over the next few weeks, we're likely to get more scientific clarity on the situation. On the portfolio positioning, whilst we've not gone completely risk off, we've been working with the assumption that the emergence of new strain of virus is one of the key risks facing financial markets. We've been advocating staying invested in a more diversified portfolio of assets. From an asset allocation point of view, we neutral equities and alternatives, underweight fixed income, and overweight cash and liquidity. Within equities, we've taken a more diversified portfolio stance with a preference for large caps, growth, and quality. On the fixed income side, two months ago, we cut risk further by downgrading emerging market local currency debt to an underweight and added to our cash positions. US treasuries remain an overweight in our portfolios as we considered them risk hedges. Within alternatives, we prefer strategies that are less correlated to equities. We are overweight gold and underweight industrial commodities. All this suggests a more diversified and to some extent defensive positions. In short, in absence of clarity with the new virus variant Omicron, we think staying invested in a diversified portfolio of assets is prudent. Thank you for listening to this podcast and we hope you liked it. If you liked it, please like it on YouTube and do share it with a friend or a colleague. You can reach out to your contact at ADCB to know more about the potential risks and opportunities that this virus variant presents to your investments. This is Kishore Muktinutalpati and I'll be back next week with more global investment insights. Till then, we hope you stay safe and healthy.